Hey, this is Captain Chris Myers of Central Florida Site Fishing Charters. I'm up here at the indoor pool at Mosquito Creek Outdoors. What I want to show you today is my recommended grip for fly casting. Now, unlike the five rules of fly casting that we talked about, grip is a matter of style, it's a matter of personal preference. I'm going to show you what works for me and why I prefer to teach my people and why I cast in that manner. So you can hold the fly rod in a lot of different ways. You can hold it with your thumb off to the side. You can hold it with your thumb on top. You can hold it with your finger on top. You can hold it with no thumb. You know, the tip of the rod and the rod itself doesn't really care how you're holding on to it. It's what the hand makes the rod do that gives you the final result. So you, you can cast with your finger on top, cast with no fingers. A lot of different, you can put two fingers on top. You can keep these fingers off only have two fingers on the rod that's all a matter of personal preference style now what I recommend people do is you put your thumb on top of the rod if I have my thumb on top of the rod there's one thing that I know if I don't move my thumb wherever that rod thumb points the rod tip goes as well and this helps me check my straight line path when I want to check my straight line it helps me look at the end of the cast and see, oh, now my thumb's pointing back behind me. If I'm bending my wrist, what did my thumb do? It came around and drew a little circle. The rod tip drew a big circle. I find for longer casts, it's easier and more comfortable to have my thumb on top. I could make a cast with my finger on top like this, but just personally, what I find when I start getting into distances, and a lot of times I might want to cast 70 feet, sometimes 80 feet at least 50 and 60 on a regular basis and if I have my thumb on top I find that's just the easier stroke is a little more uh, less pressure on my hand and my wrist if you've always fished with your finger on top and you want to try to do it with your finger on top you can certainly do that but if you're new and you're thinking how do I grab this fly line fly rod you find a lot of rods have a little dip it's fatter here in the middle skinny down here skinnier here it's a perfect place a little thumb well that's where your thumb should sit, right up near the top of the grip. I don't want to get it way down here now that it's hitting my reel. I don't want it up off the rod, tip of the rod. I want that thing right up in that little thumb well. Now there's different shaped grips. Yours may not have that. But generally you're going to want it up near the tip of the rod, keeping that thumb locked in place. So as I make my back cast, this bottom finger is pulling. And that's where almost all my pressure is. As I'm making my forward cast, the thumb is pushing through that cork so as I come back and forth it's a pull and it's a push these fingers down here at the bottom are holding it loosely I want to have a nice loose grip kind of like you're holding something that you don't want to break but you don't want it to fall out of your hand if you squeeze it too tight and your fingers are changing colors you're gonna end up with a bad cast and you're gonna end up with a sore arm sore hand if you let it go too loose it's gonna fly out of your hand but generally we're gonna be doing this nice and effortless so as we're making these casts, with my thumb on top, you know, I could let it go at the end and it's balancing right there on my finger. So if you're new to fly casting, wondering how you should grip your rod, try with a thumb on top grip. I think you'll find that will work great in the long run for you.